What's good everyone, we are back on Pokemon Showdown for a live in the OU tier with some interesting heat that is probably weak to a lot of stuff but it seems to somehow work so I figured I'd use it for a live. A couple things I wanted to say before we hop into this. Uh, firstly, thank you all very very much. We have hit 10k subs on the channel. Uh, really appreciate it. That is a huge milestone for us and honestly I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I have no words to express how, uh, how fortunate I am for uh for this moment for this momentous occasion um definitely have to thank each and every one of you and uh you know i really could not have made it without you um with that with that being said of course you know what do you guys want to see for a 10k special you know let me know in the comments of course i will read all of them and uh you know see if there are any good ideas that are doable and i will make it happen uh secondly uh, i wanted to just say you know thanks for all the gba support um you know love the comments love all the support from all you guys and it's something new on the channel for sure, and it's doing really well, so that's awesome. And I think that's all I wanted to say, so let's just go ahead and look at the team that we have here. And the team is built around uh, a couple of Pokemon, actually. I wanted to build it with Mega Heracross, and I thought Sigilyph would be pretty cool with that, since, uh, okay, so I'm running a Life Orb Sigilyph, four attacks, very offensive set, so it's able to hit pretty hard with the Magic Guard Life Orb, and, uh, you know, it has some nice coverage like Psychic, Heat Wave, Ice Beam, Energy Ball. Might be able to catch opponents by surprise if they don't know what it does, so that's going to be cool. Next here we got a Mega Heracross, just a nice uh, way to break stall sort of since I'm running a, an Adamant Nature. A little bit a little bit bulkier spread with a substitute 3 attack set, which is pretty good versus stall since it 2 hit KO Skarm with close combat. Pin missiles everything else pretty much. Uh, we have here a Flygon, which is uh, pretty pretty interesting. I don't even know why I chose these Pokemon, but Flygon I thought was interesting because it, it's, a, it's a Defogger, right? And if I just slap on a Choice Scarf, it can also check a lot of the electric types in the tier, like Mega Main, Raikou, and stuff like that. So, figure that'd be pretty cool. Plus, it has U-Turn, which is momentum with Raikou, making a nice uh, Volturn core right there. A uh, Volcanion, because, you know, this is a Volcanion meta, I figured I'd just bring it along for this team. And, uh, you know, just slap on a Choice Specs as usual. Very powerful. And uh, Raikou here, which is an Assault Vest set, and in order to check uh, a lot of the water types in the tier, like Manaphy, um, and Azu, and stuff like that, I guess. And we also have here a Ferrothorn, which is basically just my rocks. I have a Chopper Berry on this, so I'm able to lead off versus fighting type attacks and just T-Wave. Uh, like, for example, like a like a Mega Medicham, which otherwise probably destroys our team. I'm able to just lead off with this thing and uh, live a High Jump Kick or a Drain Punch, T-Wave, and then just win somehow. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it's it, it's it's kind of... Um, it's kind of a team that has a lot of threats and I just whipped it up really quickly but it looks pretty cool and uh, hopefully it'll work out for this live. So I'm just going to go ahead and find a battle. We'll pause till we get one so I'll be right back guys. Alright and we got our first battle here. Ooh. This guy's rocking some uh, pretty standard Pokemon. He's got a Volcanion too so that's cool. I think I'm just going to uh, lead off with my Sigilyph or Sigilyph. Sigilyph. Is that how you say it? Sigilyph or Sigilyph? I don't know. He lives up with the Scizor here, so I'm just going to Heat Wave right off the bat. He might not expect it. Uh, he might just go for the U-Turn. And uh, stay in and die. Nice. And crit did not matter, of course. I am Life Orb, Max Special Attack, Modest. Um, very powerful Pokemon. And we just take out Scizor right off the bat. He just quit. Okay, so. Yeah, like I said, this team takes a lot of, a lot of other teams by surprise. And uh, we can get another one here, so. Looking at this team, it's... It's interesting. It's an interesting team for sure. Um, okay. So I kind of just want to lead off here with my Ferrothor, and he's probably going to lead Gardevoir like that. Yep. And I can just T-Wave here. He doesn't have a Cleric on his team, it seems. So if I T-Wave, that'll be pretty nice. As he switches into his own Ferrothorn. Smart move, smart move. I could get up my Rocks if I wanted to. Alternatively, I could hard switch into Volcanion or Sigilyph. Um, or Heracross even. <laughs> That's actually pretty good too. Let's see. So if I go to Heracross, he doesn't seem to have a good switch other than, I guess, Gardevoir. If I go Sigilyph, um... Hmm. Heracross is a pretty good Pokemon here. He just sets up rocks, which is fine. I can literally just click, um, Pin Missile. I'm pretty sure he's going to switch out. As he does into Gardevoir. So this thing's going to go, of course, go down to this Pin Missile. We can just Mega here and knock this thing out with ease. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so... I guess he's gonna go into, um... Okay, Suicune. Which means what I could do is... Well, I mean, doesn't my Volcanion just wall this thing? 
I could sub here potentially. I could potentially sub and see what happens. As he scalds. Does not break. Very nice. So my sub is intact. I'm a much bulkier spread of course. So I'm able to uh, you know, tank hits a little bit better. And what I can do is just go right for the pin missile here. I'm pretty sure that's my best uh, best attack. Uh, versus the Suicune. As he scalds again. Um, I could sub again potentially. I'm not sure what the rolls are for the scald. But it seems that I'm able to tank it relatively well. So I could I could sub again if I want. Let's see how much this scald. I went for the calm mind here. Okay, that's fine. I mean I can just pin missile here and uh, two hit KO this thing. Oh I got a crit there too. Nice. As he scalds here, and I'm able to just knock this thing out with a uh, with a pin missile. And uh, he goes into his ditto. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I can of course pin missile that for some damage. He would be faster, of course, so he would, in theory, Rock Blast here. So I'm going to go to Flygon, uh, I think. Yeah, he does Rock Blast. Okay, very cool, very cool. I don't want to give him another switch back into his Flygon, so I think... Oh, sorry, not Flygon, Suicune. I think I should U-turn here. There we go, very nice. And uh, we knocked that out, so I can Defog later if I want. Now, what I want to do here is I want to go into my. I want to go to my Raikou, I think. I feel like Raikou is good because if he goes into Ferrothorn, I can Volt Switch out without much consequence. And I'm pretty fast. And his Ditto really can't do anything to me because I'm a Salt Vest. So Raikou, Raikou seems fine here. As he goes into Mew, which is perfectly okay, I think what I could probably do is just. Um, well, this is probably a Will-O-Wisp set. I could Volt Switch here. I could Volt Switch. That did a bit more than I... Actually, I don't know if it did more than I would have thought it would. I could go into my Sigilyph here. No, no. I should go into Volcanion. Yeah, nice. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't matter either way because I have Magic Guard on my Sigilyph. So I can just go here for the Steam Eruption if I want. Actually, he has a Ditto, so... Um, HP Grass might be the play. Okay, well, you just decide to stay in and sack it. Let's see, how do I deal with this thing? This could be annoying. This could be annoying. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, okay, so what I gotta do is I gotta I gotta T wave this thing so that my Heracross will be faster. If I do that, that'll be really good. I just taunts. Okay, so he's a Stallbreaker set. He's not Defog, so he's Defog Lottie. Um, what do I do here? What do I do here? Uh, so he's going to Wisp here, I guess. I'm going to go to my Sigilyph. Just take the burn pretty nice, and then I can... What, I, I'm pretty sure I can just go into my Raikou here. And click Shadow Ball. Try and damage this thing. Not bad, not bad. I mean, we, could, we could potentially get a Spadef drop. That's always possible. He soft boils up, which is fine. I mean, we're still in a pretty good position right now. Yeah, he burns here. Okay, okay. Um, it's a little bit of an annoying set, I guess. That we're going to have to try to deal with. That Psychic did how much to Volcanion? It did, um... Oh, we got a spit drop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's good. I'm going to Volt Switch here. Let's see, it's Ferrothorn, very nice. I can now just go into my Heracross and potentially kill something right now. I think this is my best play. Let's do that and just close combat here. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Ferrothorn's gone. Nice. Okay, so we got another kill here. That's great. Very good. Mew's a little bit of a problem, but I'm thinking that we can sort of deal with it somehow. He goes into his, um, this thing right there. I think what I gotta do is, uh, go to my Ferrothorn. Eat up that Choppleberry. So he's locked into close combat here. Locked into close combat, and this just means what I can do is, um, I don't necessarily have to sack Pharaoh. I can probably go into Sigilyph and live a hit, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's gonna do that much. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, cool. This is good. 
Uh, I think what I could do now is just go for the Ice Beam here. Expecting him to switch out into Lottie. Ooh, nice, nice. Nailed that with the Ice Beam right there. Very good, very good. Um, I can sack Ferrothorn here now. To the Draco. And I'm pretty sure what I can do now is just... I could go Raikou here. Hmm. So I kind of need a way in order for me to... Oh, wait, how much did that Psychic do? I didn't even check, did I? Uh, 38.9. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to lose versus that Mew. Okay, let's think here. Hmm. So if I go Flygon here, and I click... Um, I click U-turn. Very nice. Okay. And then let's say I click, um, well, if he, it's going to be a speed tie then. It's going to be a speed tie. Oh no, never mind. Okay. 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 Wait, wait, wait. This is, this is fine. This is fine because of the fact that I can, uh, I can win the speed tie. This thing is frozen. Yeah. This thing's not moving anywhere. Okay. Nice. So we got the U-turn there on that. I'm gonna go to my Sigilyph, try to, um, I guess try to freeze it, is my play. He taunted me, but I mean, I'm not trying to set up or anything. I could also alternatively go for Spideff drops here, but I don't think it's worth it. Got a spit F drop there. Able to knock me out, unfortunately. How do we how do we beat this thing? Oh, we're faster than this? Oh. <laughs> I didn't think we were faster. Look, I'm like a really low speed. 245. And I thought Stallbreaker Muse were supposed to be faster than that. I'm not even max speed. Not max speed. Uh, so we basically have to win this with a speed die. I believe. I'm not max speed. No. I'm not max speed. Oh, he dodged? What? Come on, dude. That's actually really lame. But we can win the speed tie. It's you turn here. Actually, I'm an outrage here. I'm an outrage this. You're a frozen fly gun, yeah. You're not winning any speed tie. GG. It's envy. Alright, let's find another battle. I'll be right back, guys. All right, and we got one here. This guy's rocking uh, triple birds and uh, some other Pokemon there. I think I'm just going to lead off here with probably Heracross. Heracross is not a bad lead, actually, to be honest. To be honest. Um, let's leave with it. As he leads off with the Clef. Okay, okay. So... It's not too bad, I guess. I could probably sub here and see what he wants to do without megaing. Stealth rocks. Okay, this is good. Now I can mega click uh, rock blast here. Should be doing at least half, I think. So I can mega here. See how much this does. Got a crit. Not bad. Not bad. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is a this is a two kill for sure, even without the crits. Even without the crits. And I can just click close combat here and just knock this thing out. What? The, huh? This guy's rocking a cuss tap clef. <laughs> what is this? I just got out heated. Alright, well. I'm just gonna knock this thing out, I guess. That was crazy. I, I mean, I guess I didn't really need... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I needed Heracross for the Breloom. 
He goes into this thing though. Yeah, that's a threat. I'm just gonna psychic here. These are decks, okay. Dragon dances. I can just get off nice. Ooh, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Ah. Now I literally just go Ferrothorn here and I let him kill himself. I T wave here on the roost. Or he just he can just yeah, knock himself out. That's cool. That's cool. What is he going into now? Probably the um Let's see. Starmie? Okay, okay. This is oh, this is fine, I think, because I can just go into Volcanion here. As he ice beams and freezes me. Um, I can steam erupt here because I can thaw. Or not. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay, so we go Raikou here. Raikou can actually put in some decent work. I can T-Bolt on this. Eat up that, uh, you know, that Scald. Into his Dragonite he goes. Um, could be threatening. I'm doing a Volt Switch here. As we are faster, he'll probably Dragon Dance, I guess. I can go Flygon here. Yeah, and we're faster than this, so I can just Outrage. Knock it out. Very nice. Flygon getting the kill. That's what I want to see. Into this Breloom he goes. I can Outrage here. For some nice damage. Nice damage as he spores me. I'm going into my Sigilyph here, I think, is my best play. As he SDs. He can't knock me out with Mach Punch. I can Psychic here. And, um... Knock that out. Last is the Talon Flame. I mean, he got me in the beginning. He got me in the beginning, that's for sure. I can Psychic here. As, um... We got some good damage right there. He's left over, so he has to be Brave Bird. So yeah, he'll just knock himself out in the process. So, good game. Let's go ahead and find another battle. As we got one right away. Nice. <laughs> nice. Look at this team. This one's, like, pretty standard. Bulky offense. I think my play here is to lead with the uh, Ferrothorn. He's probably going to lead Gardevoir. Okay, he leads Lando. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. Because what I can do is just... Um, I can just set up my rocks here. Oh, okay. He has superpower. So he's locked in. This is Scarfed, I'm pretty sure. So I can go Sigilyph here. Or I can go into Heracross. I like Heracross. I like Heracross here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Alright, so... My play is to set up a sub. As he brings Lottie. Okay, this is good. This is fine. I can pin missile on this. Something dies. Yeah, sub Heracross is actually really good. Not gonna lie. As he goes Heatran here, okay. I can now fire off a close... Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. He's gonna go Gardevoir on the close combat probably in Hyper Voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not falling for that. No way. Not bad. Alright, alright. So I'm making some play engines for him because he lost. Let's grab another. How is this team putting in work? Let's find another one. Be right back. Alright, we got one here. This guy's rocking a Medicham team. So like I said in the beginning, I, I think I'm just going to leave it with Ferrothorn because uh, I got the Chopper Berry. He's up with Lando though. Obviously rocks. I'm going to set up my own probably. Or I could just Leech Seed here. I think Leech Seed is a fine play. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm gonna T-Wave here. I don't think he's just gonna Earthquake anyways. He'll probably go to like Fair uh, his maybe Superior, maybe um Medicham or something. I don't know. Yeah, start a timer as well. Who knows what this guy's going to do. I think our win condition for sure is... Uh, 
is gonna be the Sigilith. Look at look at this thing. It takes out Rotom, it takes out Azu, it takes out um Lando. Because he's bulky Lando. Can probably check the Serp if it hasn't set up yet. That's pretty flames. Like not even the uh, Starmie can switch in on it. Alright, so he just goes for the U-turn here. Probably into what? We'll find out. We'll find out. Into Azu. Nice. So he went to Azu, he was probably packing superpower or something. So... I don't want to sack my wind con right now, but... I'm gonna go Heracross here. Eat that up. 50%. <laughs> I did not eat that up well. Um, I'm gonna make a double here to my Sigilyph. Because of the fact that he's gonna bring in Lando versus this thing and I can Ice Beam. He's definitely a uh, choice bandit. So, that's good to know. Yep, there's Lando. We can Ice Beam this thing. This will go down in one hit. We are faster guaranteed. He's uh, obviously gonna be a defensive set. And there we go. Knock out the Lando. Not bad at all. Into Rotom he goes. We energy ball this thing. I mean, I can still eat up a hit. Yeah, just get off some massive damage on that. And, uh, okay. Yeah, that <laughs> I didn't eat that up too well. But the Rotom, Rotom's weakened, so that's good. Into Medicham he goes. I'm just going to click Ferrothorn here on the fake out. And click T-Wave on this. Hopefully we can live this as we don't. Okay, Chapel very use, uh, useless here. I think my play is going into the Raikou. Raikou puts in some work, for sure. And what I can do is just click uh, Volt Switch here. I don't think Shadow Ball kills. So I'm going to Volt Switch out. Okay, he goes into Serp. I can go into my Flygon in U-Turn, I think, is my best play. You turn into what though? Into what? Um, like if I go flag on here on a U turn, it's gonna be a two hit KO. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a two hit KO. Okay, so I can sack the Heracross here if I want to because I don't think Heracross is putting in much work. Alternatively, I could sack Volcanion, but Volcanion can check the Starmie, I think. So unless he has like T Bolt or something. So I think really my best play here is to sack the Heracross because I need the Raikou for the Medicham because it has Shadow Ball. I don't want to sack Sigilyph though. Like it's weak, it's weak right now, but like I don't I don't want to sack it. Don't want to sack it. Oh, we dodged the Leaf Storm, nice. And he's gonna hit in Power Fire here anyways, or he could just Leaf Storm again. But not worth taking a risk. Yeah, Dragon Pulses. And we're able to live that. <laughs> and we're able to live the Dragon Pulse. Nice. Nice. 18.8%. He just quit. Alright. We're just winning back-to-back -back battles. Alright, let's get another one. Be right back. Alright, and we got one here. This guy's rocking a Mega Gardevoir team. Ooh. Leading off with Ferrothorn. I see this up with the Lando. Uh, I don't know what has rocks. So... He's got like... Uh, Starmie's a spinner, of course, but it just looks like he has two spinners. I'm gonna set up my rocks here. He just earthquakes, perfectly fine. He's locked. He's definitely a choice scarf. So I'm gonna go into my Sigilyph here. Very nice. I can go for the energy ball potentially, or I can make a double into my Heracross. Yeah, I want to make a double to Heracross. He's gonna go into his uh, Tyranitar. Nice. Yep. Yep. Um, and on this, I'm pretty sure I can just sub. He's uh, gonna be. A, he's probably gonna be like a set that where. He's uh, defensive rocks, maybe smooth rock or something. Back to Lando he goes. I can rock blast this thing for some damage. See what he wants to do. Just earthquakes me here. Um, gonna close combat here. I ah, he goes Gardevoir. Okay, that's fine. All good. I'm pretty sure what I can do is just go here into my Raikou potentially or my Ferrothorn. How do I want to play this? Um, I could go Ferrothorn here as he Psy shocks me. He's going to Focus Blast here, so I'm going to go into my Raikou. Hidden Power Fire. Okay, that's even better. That's actually even better. 
Um, what did he trace? He traced, uh, I don't know, he's not, well, never nothing anymore, but I'm pretty sure what I can do is just Shadow Ball here. Knock out the Lando, very nice, very nice. So that's gone. One turn of sand left. Okay, this is pretty good for us. He goes into Excadrill here, so I'm pretty sure what I can do is go into my Ferrothorn predicting the Iron Head. If he decides to Earthquake, that's fine too. I mean, I don't really need Ferrothorn for much anyways, other than, um... Setting up rocks, I guess. Oh, I mean, we already set up rocks, so never mind. Yeah. Oh, yes, indeed. Ooh. Well, he's not going to be doing much because I have faster Pokemon than him. I have faster Pokemon for sure. Um, let's see. Just quakes me there. It's perfectly fine. I can go into... I don't, I don't know what his item is, actually, because I don't see... I don't see a... I don't see a balloon. I don't see a life orb. If we go Flygon and just Earthquake here, we get a kill. Or, I mean, he has a Ferrothorn, but still. Flygon is our win condition, so we gotta save this thing. And... We can go here into our Sigilyph, pretty sure. He just Gyro Balls me, okay, okay. Heat Wave knock it out. Sigilyph getting the kill right there. That's what I like to see. So as long as we just make sure that he doesn't set up with drill, we're, we're good. He just rapid spun here. <laughs> I can just knock out this army as well. <laughs> nice, nice. In a T-Tar he goes. I'm just going to uh, go for the energy ball here. As he clicks Ice Beam, knocks me out. And I can go with a Flygon and finish this game off with three Earthquakes, I think. We'll do the trick. As long as he doesn't Iron Head flinch me, we're good. So I can Earthquake here. And yeah, knock this out. Last is the Flygon, which we knock out with another Earthquake. So that's going to be a good game, my friend. Nice. Not even bad. Uh, what are we at right now? Yeah, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Be right back. Alright, we got one here. This team is looking like it can be picked off by this uh, Sigilyph. I'm going to lead off with it right now, actually. Since, uh, let's see what he does here. He leads off with the Lando. His only Stealth Rock Pokemon, potentially, I think. So I'm just going to Ice Beam here. See what he wants to do. He goes into Starmie. I mean, freeze it. Nice. Nice. I can energy ball and knock this thing out. Well, that's not nice for him, but I mean, it's nice for me. As uh, he doesn't seem to have Scald, so I guess he was an offensive set. Very unfortunate. Magnezone coming out. I'm just going to go right now into my Flygon. Potentially is fine. I can go Rack. Rack was pretty safe. Neutral, uh, neutral play. As he goes for the flash cannon like I expected. Gonna HP Ice here, expecting him to switch out into his Lando. Alternatively, I could Shadow Ball, but let's see what he does. Yeah, into Lando he goes. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm just going to Hidden Power again. I'm, I'm faster. He's obviously bulky, and yeah, he just quit here, so we can just grab another game. That was a quick one. Everybody's forfeiting versus this team. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, got one here. Have fun. Um, this team is looking interesting, interesting, interesting. He's, he's got some cool Pokemon like Mamoswine, Gyarados, and stuff. I don't know if it's Mega Gyarados or Mega Metagross. I'm pretty sure it's it's looking like it's looking like Mega Gyarados and Assault Vest Metagross. You too. You have an interesting team too. Ah, not bad. Um, I think probably our best lead here would. be be the Ferrothorn, I'm thinking, because he's going to lead up with the Mamoswine. Like that. I'm going to click... I'm going to click um, Iron Head here, turn one, I think. He's just going to get up rocks anyways. Um, I could Leech Seed. Leech Seed might be smarter. Just to break its uh, thing without getting into a range where he can endeavor me. Unfortunately, our Leech Seeds are not hitting. Um, which is fine. I mean, I'm just going to set up my rocks here. It's probably my best play. Or I could just, yeah, yeah, rocks are fine. And um, I'll probably just Leech Seed here, I guess. And then I can Iron Dead here. Yep, this, this should be fine. I break his Sash, so that's good. 
and he's going to be try to force to spin and if he doesn't spin then he'll take uh, good rock damage from Gyarados and Talonflame and stuff um, into Gliscor he goes so he's probably a taunt set I'm not sure what set he would be I could go Sigilyph here not sure what he'd want to do I don't think he'd knock off right now um, that doesn't make sense because then he'd just take uh, Leech Seed damage so if I go Sigilyph here, then I'm in a position where I can literally spam attack after attack. Oh, he yeah, SD'd. Ooh. I like an Ice Beam here. Ice Beam will definitely knock this thing out for sure. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Nobody expects the power of Sigilyph. Not bad. Alright, so into Starmie he goes. I mean, I can Energy Ball here. I don't think he'd... I don't know if he'd want to kill this thing right away. He might just want to rapid spin because that's probably more worth it for his talent flame. Oh yeah, Ice Beam's here and we're able to live. Ooh. And he's lost his spinner too, so that's like... That's interesting because now talent flame goes down to... Uh, well, it gets a lot of damage from rocks and stuff. Yeah, it's a life orb. Yep. Or yeah. <laughs> it's life orb, yeah. It's a strong set. I mean, look at this. That's 335 special attack, which is not that imp like not super impressive, but with Life Orb and Magic Guard, it's pretty good. Well done. Thank you. I like nice opponents. Always appreciate them. Alright, so Mammoth Swine's coming out here. I mean, he's obviously just going to Ice Shard me, which means I could... Uh, let's see. Ferrothorn... Does Ferrothorn live in Earthquake... Earthquake did 36.1. When I switch into rocks, I, I'm pretty sure I can live in Earthquake. Um, I don't really need Sigilyph anymore, so I can pretty much just go for the Psychic here. Pretty safe. Um, what I can uh, what I can do now is pretty much... I could, I could bring in Heracross here even, because Heracross can... It can just kill something right now, I think. Now that I think about it. Like, I don't really have to sack Ferrothorn just yet. I can save it. Maybe to take a hit from Gyarados and T-Wave something. I can go to I can go to Heracross here. I can Mega. I can click Combat. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's fine. Cause what is his what is his alternative switching? Like I don't think he can switch in Talon Flame on this close combat. And we're and we're faster anyways too. Okay, that's nice. Um, I'm not even max. Oh yeah, I am max speed maybe. No, I don't think I am. I set my speed in order to outrun uh, whatever 244 benchmark outruns, which is like Jolly Titar. Whatever Pokemon set to outrun that. But we can knock this out, and I'm pretty sure in order for us to win this game, we use Raikou. I'm pretty sure Raikou just wins this game for us. That's really good. This team has been putting in a lot more work than I would have anticipated, and that's just... <laughs> that's actually really cool. Alright, so he brings in Gyarados here, and I think my play is to probably... Rock Blast, I think, is my best play. I'm thinking Rock Blast is my best, is my best play here, just because if he Megas, he's putting himself in a position where my Flygon can Revenge Kill it, and I could take it out on the next turn. He'd have to attack me after one Dragon Dance, and I have a, uh, I have a Flygon, so, and I'm faster with that, so. I don't think he can win this unless I miss a Rock Blast, which would be really unfortunate. But if he Megas, then, I mean, yeah, he mega here. Okay, okay. This is fine. Um, he Dragon Dances here, which is, which is okay, because what I can do is just, um, let's see. I could, I don't want, no, I can't sack off the Ferrothorn. That, that would be a choke on my part. If he dragon dances on that, then I, I've lost. So I have to I have to go for the close combat here. The waterfalls knocks me out, which is fine. I can go into my flygon here, I think. And earthquake, I'm pretty sure. Um Would an earthquake be stronger than a U-turn? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh maybe, maybe. But then I don't really want him to set up a, uh... Actually, let me just... I I'm worried about this thing. Let me just calc real quick, so one sec. 
Okay, yeah, so this thing is in range of dying from a U-turn. If he does not have any, like, HP investment or anything, this thing should die from a U-turn. Yeah, there we go. And, um... Uh, what I could do now is just go into my Raikou here, I'm pretty sure. Or I could go to Volcanion. I think Raikou is just my best play because it, it just forces him not to go to Talonflame here. Just say GG. That was a good game, though. That was a solid game. I mean, we put in uh, a lot of work with this team, and I think this live is going to be uh, very, very cool. Uh, into Metagross he goes, I can just go for the, um, the Volt Switch here. Into my... Probably the Volcanion. I mean, I don't want to switch it in on an Earthquake or anything like that, but... I mean, I could just go into... Yeah, I mean, Volcanion's fine. Volcanion's fine. This is a Salt Vest, so... Actually, let's go Ferrothorn here. Oh, he pursued it. Ooh, that's a good play. That's a good play. Solid play. Um, this could be interesting. I'm going to T-Wave here. Hard switches to Talonflame, which is fine. I think what I can do is hard switch into my Volcanion here. Is my is probably my best play. And if I do, then pretty much... Uh, I mean, I just have to make sure it doesn't get up an SD and start doing stuff. This is only chance, yeah. It is, actually. Um, I, just, I just don't want to let him set up SDs, because that's going to really ruin me. So I have to go into, um, yeah, this thing. And uh, let's see what he wants to do. Um, he's probably going to attack me. Acrobatics. Oh. Okay. Ooh. 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 This could be bad. This could be very bad. Hmm. Um. Does it kill uh, Raikou? Is he if, he if he's max attack? Yeah, it probably does. He could he could still potentially get parried, and we could be saved. I mean, we're come on, GG Envy. We're gonna we're gonna get parried right here, or he's gonna get parried right here. We gotta outluck everything. Watch this. Watch this para. It does. Here we go. Lord Envy not coming through. No! Alright. We have one shot. We outrage here. We gotta outrage here. Ooh! Ooh, here we go, squad, let's go. Ooh, all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so what, what do we got to do here? What do we got to do? Um, no ice punch, okay, okay. No Zen headbutt? No meteor bash? Yo, we won this. That was solid. I actually almost choked this game away. I don't know why I went to Ferrothorn. I should have just gone into uh, into Volcanion. I didn't expect him to just pursue me though. Thought he'd just uh, Earthquake or something. Um, that's like doing nothing. <laughs> oh, we're still locked in though. Though this could actually be really bad. This is actually really bad now. I'm still locked in. Yeah, that game was pretty solid. I have a Chobbleberry on my Ferrothorn still, but... Yeah, I mean, he, he, he'll obviously... Oh, if he's slower, right? I could potentially at least see an Iron Head flinch him. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Wait, huh? Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, he has to Bullet Punch here, right? Yeah, so basically what he's saying is, like, you know, if he if he Bullet Punches me... Well, he doesn't know I have Chobbleberry, so... It could be... It could, it could go either way, I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure I still die. 
pursuit. Ooh. Alright, well, we're about to win this now, I think. Watch this play. Ready? Watch this play. GG. Chopel. Eat it up. And now, Ironhead flinch this thing once and win the game. I love the guy's excitement on his face. He's like, oh. Let's see what happens here. Ironhead flinched. We get the flinch. We get the flinch. No. Who won? Oh, he won. Oh, I won. Yo. I just won this game. Wait. Oh, because Iron... Because <laughs> Iron Barb's just uh, putting in that work. Yeah, we, we will call it a tie, my friend. Oops. We will call it a tie. Good game, good game, man. All right, so I hope you guys. That was a fun game, though. That was a fun game, even though I probably should, <laughs> it probably shouldn't have been that close if I played it right, but uh, it was still fun either way. Hope you guys enjoyed this live. Definitely, this team put in a great amount of work, as you saw. We won pretty much every single game uh, that we had, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really happy about this team. It put in, uh, like, just for that amount of time I put in to make, to make this team, it put in all the work that we needed it to for this live. And you know, the, the main Pokemon that I built this team around, like uh, Sigilyph or Sigilyph, Mega Heracross, and Flygon, put in a lot of good work. So I'm really happy about that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said once again, let me know what you guys want to see for a 10K special or whatever. Um, you know, always looking forward to hearing from you all. And uh, you know, just in general, you know, I love replying to all your comments and like the lives and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace guys.